Hi, it's me again. Um, craziness on extreme levels still around me. They follow me to work. They follow me to stores. They come in stores and publicly humiliate me. They did it again today. Dollar General today is October 26, 21. Um, let me get the time. I checked out. There will be a lady behind me. Okay. Uh, at 419. So you want to go a few minutes before. There will be a lady and two men. Okay. And then if you go a few more minutes before. And if they alter their tapes. Then there are obstruction to justice on top of it. Oh, so many charges. I already talked to a lot of, I sent a lot of emails out. Okay. So, um, they, uh, women came in. Eric helps try to scare her to death. <laughs> Some women. The older woman come up to the guys. Is that what's going on? And they said yes. And the other guy said, we just found out. The other guy said, can you help me wipe out all charges? There better not be charges. Because if they would have actually called the Maslin police, they would have told them it's a documented me game of pretend. The only thing that's came out uh, since then, that, I'll get, no, we're not going to play games. Um, being an informant for the FBI, they bugged everything. My house, my apartment, my car. They abducted me, stabbed me in the neck of the refrigerator, 12, 21, 18. Okay. I have a neurochip. It's wide open. Uh, it feeds into Bluetooth in cars and cell phones. Okay. So they can drive by and read my thoughts and humiliate me. They dehumanized me. Why? For Michelle Memorial Day weekend 2019 food counter for it's my daughter husband dates he met her in Ravenna when she was having a stomach spell it's for my daughter they did all this for and our family won't do it watching her and doing this and for who's Karen's rich boyfriend but the state of Ohio protector because everybody kept saying I had a rich boyfriend because I had the State Department District Attorney's Office the Police Department the Bar Association um, the Freemasons, uh, some of the National Guard follow me around. Um, they all said I had a rich boyfriend. I had no one. Okay. And so she's mocking me at the food counter clear to the register. You know how busy it was Memorial Day weekend, 2019. Mm -hmm. They looked it up. It's Michelle's mother. First, I thought it was an agent's daughter, the way they were talking. And then to find out it's one of the judge's daughters and they're like, it's Judge Pete's. Okay. And that's why Dave got away with assault with internal injuries, even though I reported it. Emergency reports. There's tapes of him beating me with internal injuries, not retaliating. Scopes proven the injuries. Okay. Doctor's reports. Uh, he did not go to jail for anything. He admits he had people, uh, they paid people to know where I was. They sold me for money. It was devastating. Uh, people would take money to find out where I was for a stalker murder show up. Um, six stalkers inside um, Walmart and then two in a restaurant. Um, realizing the attempt at kidnapping and attempt at carjacking and the following round was all part of it. Um... <laughs> And it was for him to get everything. Um, like I said, he wanted this other girl, Katie. He mentioned her September 3rd to the 6th. And then he, um, I didn't know anything about Michelle until later on. Then I thought it was a different Michelle. And then when they, way they were talking about it, it was an agent's daughter. And now it's come out. It's one of the judge's daughters. That's why they all participated. Okay. Um, today, um, inside Dollar General, when they pulled that crap of, Eric helped scare her to death. Is that what's going on? <laughs> and they're laughing at me. 
And the older woman walked up to those two guys. Is that what's going on? Yeah, we just found out. Well, can you help me wipe out charges? There shouldn't be charges. And who's that old white woman? There was a Lorne and a heavy set girl with big boobs. And mean parents were going to steal everything you have in life. I already text the, one of the prosecutors. It's racketeering and extortion. It could even be it's trying to scare someone to death if you Google it. Um, it's attempt to murder. Mm -hmm. You can't do any of this. Um, now, 8-8 eight, eight of 21 this year, about 8 o'clock, about 8-15, 8-30, um, where they kept saying before, before, before. Uh, well, it already came out May 25th. Uh, a couple days before that little old lady on Fairmont. Uh, it's not funny. The church people broke in before, told her, say she's a weirdo molester. That's not funny. Drugging her and telling her to say that. <clears throat> and she's talked to several people. She knows I'm innocent, and she knows quite a bit. Uh, but then the Wendy Screw, um, May 25th, was talking about it in front of my old client. And they were... Um, talking about how not funny that was in front of my client a bunch of people in town they were calling them bastards i didn't work for him for a while and then he tried to let me in and then they make fun of me in stores and it's too much for him um my new client they're still doing it around him and he's not picked it up yet okay um so eight eight of eight 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 of 21 about 8.15 to 8.30 at night. Did you know he fentanyled her and told her to say that? We just found out. We didn't know the kids. Well, they knew that the kids were lying. So they're going to put their hands in it. Trying to get money out of fentanyl. Okay. I'll never remember. Okay. And then 8, 9, 9 in the morning. Kids at the building before me. Second apartment. I'm running out. It's funny. She finally figured out Dave drugged her and told her to say it. It's so funny. Well, <clears throat> a guy with a bag showed up, and a few days later, they took him around the corner. Said a lot enough for both parking lots to hear. Yes, they did drug her before and tell her to say, including Dave. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's not funny roofing and somebody's drinking and tell them to say something stupid and then think it's funny to extort, try to extort money out of them or get them in trouble for you trying to have them murdered and get everything. You can't do that. You go to jail for it. They keep leaving us Steve, Eric, Kirk, Chris, and Mark of men I've never met. Nor did uh, some lady even said that she did it to me off in the dark. I have never talked to no officer, no agent, no lady, no Steve, Eric, Kirk, Chris, or Mark. Okay? I woke up with black and blue marks. Yeah. They don't use sodium pentothal. They were trying to reuse people's low intelligence here. To say they had true serum. It's not true serum. Like they say, if you do, if you Google false confession, sodium pentothal, you questioner gets what it wants, right or wrong. You say yes to everything. Okay? Falsely confessed to luring children. Falsely confessed to writing ransom notes. Falsely confessed to Pearl Harbor. Falsely confessed to crimes too. False memories implanted. Okay? So, they're not going to give you that to make you say yes to everything like they said it's spy flick stuff then if you put lethal sodium pentothal it's used to put puppies down and lethal injections in humans and anthrax if you put illegal sodium pentothal the fda prohibits any use in humans and not to be brought in the united states so they're not going to give you a lethal injection to make you lie okay so where they've been running around that we have sodium pentothal reports. They don't have them. Okay? They're made up. Some guy had told them up in Ravenna, get rid of that made up fake paperwork. It's not true about her. Mm -mm. They're trying to use people's low intelligence for them drugging and kidnapping me for an occult to get away with murder. And extortion and racketeering. Okay? hear them outside it's all night long they follow me doing that it's not funny that judge and his family and that Ravenna courthouse is not funny someone needs to come down here they're too organized for this to be a whim 
there's a colonel involved. They mentioned the colonel and uh, at uh, Cash, uh, American Cash Pond. It used to be Cash Land on Cleveland Avenue. They moved it. They mentioned him there and then outside Dollar General last week. Some guy pulled in and said, I witnessed them mentioning a colonel around her. They did it again today. Where would you get an illegal war weapon? An army base? Or a lab? 12-21-18. Stabbed in the neck of the refrigerator, okay? And uh, woke up six hours later. have a big dent in the back of my skull. There's a crack that comes down here. And there's wires. I had a CT Mercy Medical 3... Uh, I think 317. I went in there at 313. I went back a few days later of this year, 21. And it shows the cut the wires in the crack. Louisville please looked over at me and said, she's got a government chip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a cat officer walked by his phone and he started reading my information. Okay. 313 this year at Altman Hospital. They came in and the case's name is Karen's Will. Um. It's supposed to be after the agent that took care of me. He's supposed to, and he didn't. Okay. Uh, about 2.53 p.m. Um, we're here for Karen's Well, the agency chapter. Okay. That's an FBI case. Karen around the house is a state case. It's what the guys called it when they walked around me. Okay. A bitch looks me in the face. They didn't see when they that I used that face. Shut up. Shut up. Learn to look up the law. Read the Constitution. Okay? So I'm in the back. Uh, Dr. Alan Altina's uh, intern is there. And they tell him uh, where I have all the swelling pulling in the base of my skull. Um, I said I may have a chip. And I didn't want to say I had a neural chip. I really didn't. He goes to leave. There's an agent standing there. Some damn bastard neural chip. Or, oh, we already know. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Okay. And they sold the login to everything across the nation. Okay. It's open like a cell phone. There's a U.S. Supreme Court. Now, a U.S. Supreme Court ruled that women can have abortions. And they're legal. May not agree with them. But they're legal. But once you're born, or you got your citizenship, all the Constitution that was 245 years intact to hold our nation in place is in doubt over you. That's why people risk their lives coming here. Because our, our country will not hurt its citizens. Our U.S. Supreme Court the highest judges in the land outlawed a neural trip. Yeah. Remote neural monitoring, electronic brain links. Our U.S. government recognizes illegal synthetic telepathic war weapons as an illegal strategy by other governments. Mind controlling chips uh, to silence whistleblowers. Used by perpetrators as a heinous crime of assault. Okay. And it's against all basic human rights and all human dignity. Okay. So it's outlawed by the U.S. Supreme Court and our U.S. government. And they put the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th over it. I did more research even the 4th of over it. They have dehumanized me. Why would they do that? There's a colonel involved. Where would you? And everybody keeps mentioning it. Who's the colonel to that Michelle or Lauren or that other girl? Is he doing my ex's ex-girlfriend too? Is that it? Or is he a no-no? Because why would you risk your freedom to be participating in any of this? They don't think they can go to jail for nothing. Nobody down here does. They run around like hyenas. Hate crime. You want the top ten stupidest wanted list oh uh, we drugged her for that a call we told her to say something stupid we can get her in trouble right 
or I'd wake up with black and blue marks. Oh, Dave, that knowed her. Uh-huh. And he told her to say something stupid, and he gave her enough of her. She'll never remember. Mm-hmm. Isn't that funny? Now we get money, right? No, no. Some ass morphing his wife trying to do that on the internet. He went to jail. You can't drug anybody. Yeah. And then they dehumanized me with this chip. And when that Asian lady, uh, where Dave made a mistake in a big one, there was a gunshot night around Christmas of 2018 where I had already almost been shot in the head driving. The stalker showed up and he had beat on me with internal injuries instead of getting me the hell out of there. They neurochipped me 12, 21, 18 in the tent to murder me. Okay? Because <coughs> why wouldn't you chip Dave? Why wouldn't you, yeah, get it out of the ministers that are involved? Hmm? Why wouldn't you go after them? Because Dave dates Michelle. Uh-huh, the Kathy's probably next. They like killing people down here. Okay? While well, on the gunshot night, while well, I'm hiding not to get killed through the window or the back door, Dave met up how they killed those people outside and the house picked it up. And I said, those men are really dead. October 5th, Macy's, an Asian lady leans into, uh, as I go to leave, in Belgium. Um, I told these people to stop saying stuff to her. She's trying to get us help. They ran into uh, Save a Lot. Oh, uh, what was it, October 12th? Um, I have, it's the 12th or 17th. I, um, I'm not for sure of the date. I wrote it in an email. The lady found out she was beat, trying to get her help. Yeah, I was. I, when they showed up and they had talked about a camera night, um, around me, that he actually did die. And they said, none of this is funny. They're both dead and some man's claiming he's crippled. Um, I had went and bought a prepaid phone. Um, got a witness where Dixie's, he had told, David told Dixie that there was gunfire. They went to the wrong house and that I was target practice. Well, I got a prepaid phone, got her video statement, got my statements. Okay. Was going to turn it in. Took it down to Seth Arco, my old attorney. And I said, Seth, I have a package. Uh, would you, I, if I pay you, will you deliver it? What's in it? I can't really say. Because I'm thinking he's already killed too. Um, I can't tell him he'll kill him. Um, and he said, does it have something to do with your husband? I'm like, maybe. Now, the undercover police in the courthouse worked the case. They followed me around. They knew what he did. And they knew how he beat me. He knew They knew he sexually assaulted me. They knew that he killed those men. And he, they, he even brags they paid people to know where I was. And he had people threaten me and worse. Yeah, they showed up. Hiring stalkers is a major crime, too. Okay? All this is. Scaring anything out of anybody is racketeering and extortion. Anything worth than more than $500 is grand theft. If you have them give it up because of fear and duress, it is extortion and racketeering. And it's like a 15-year charge. Okay? And trying to scare someone to death as attempt to murder is 20. Drugs and kidnapping is 20. Um, yeah, you don't want to play with what's going on down here. Um, so I, Dixie started crying until she was passing out again. And I thought I'd wait a little longer, 1239 North, before I, I turned that tape in. Because the only thing that was supposed to happen... Uh, nothing legally stated, dated against you again. Always pull back to that traffic ticket. And only for you and only for you will we do this for. Put it back as if it never happened. Okay. And no man is ever to touch you. Um, my God, I did not get one promise. Uh, no man is ever to touch you. Um, you can't be legally held or charged for anything again. And only for you and only for you will we do this for. Well, I got one traffic ticket. I'm not going to go on a crime spree. Um, the guys used to joke about it in Walmart, walk around me, and tease me as they walked around me about it. Well, gave 
caring no wrongdoing in life because she wouldn't abuse it. they giving it to a nun. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, let's see. What else was part of it? Um, it was just craziness. I mean, everything that was promised me, I got nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And he only asked me to remain quiet while they investigate. But an idiot went to Pamer the night before I called him back and told Pamer. Um, so I never had to stay quiet. And then they were taping me unaware of my home. Uh, they knew I called the FBI. Some of the agents participated because of Michelle. Okay. And that's probably why that idiot told on me. It's a felony to tell on me. They don't want to help you. They don't help you. They turn over, please say, Karen, I'm not going to help you. Detective so-and-so will take care of you. That's what they do. That's proper. You can't participate in crimes. Um, so um, I thought I'd wait a little longer to turn that tape in. Um, so because the only thing was going to happen is they're going to put everything back as it was just for me. And then everything can go away. Well, if Dixie's still not okay enough for me that she's not crying until she passes out. I don't want anybody not to watch her because they've been playing with her vehicles because they put a hit on her life and the babies. And she didn't know why her vehicles were getting hampered with. And I was trying to keep them out to keep them safe and facing all that horror myself. Okay. So 1239 North Chapel in the middle of the night. Silver cars are out there. Men and women. You can't beat a single woman by herself. We can't have her stay. What happened up there? Okay. I thought they were trying to scare me. I woke up to arms above my head, smothered with a pillow, punched in my private area, punched up inside. Fourth time coming up for air, I passed out. They poured something in my mouth, and when I went to all it, they smeared it on my face. They paralyzed my arms straight down. I couldn't even move. And I was losing consciousness real fast. She don't state it, do it again. The stalker was smothering me and an agent was punching me in my private area, an old fat white man at the end of the bed. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, I first said no and then they kept doing this and smothering and punching until I just finally said whatever so I could breathe and half that. I woke up with bruises on my face. Uh, fingerprints up and down my arms and my private air was swollen. Um, I was horrified. I got up and I got cleaned up and I grabbed my bedding and went down to the laundry mat. They had women waiting there to lie. Tape glitched for hours. She woke up with purses. Nobody knows why it didn't glitch. They sold the log and people have that personal choice. And over 20, 30 people say something too. Okay? And I see that idiot at Macy's. I go to leave. There's a lady with bags. Her car had been stolen off her. Take her somewhere. I even offered to let her set my vehicle. She had somebody coming. She didn't want my help. And I went on to pay family church. A lot of them have the login. There's 3,000 of us. Okay. They sold it to Catholic religions, Jewish. Uh, some Muslims hopped out. Um, truck drivers. Uh, caretakers. Um nursing homes have it, fire departments, uh, old ladies, teenagers. It's horrifying. They let them see me in the bathroom on the toilet. They run this thing like Kim Jong in uh, North Korea. Um, you wouldn't even think you're in the United States here. Um, they're trying to set up their own communist country in the middle of our country. And like nobody can touch them. They're insane. Um, well, I, um, I was, I went on to Faith Family Church. That idiot followed me in my church. And I told you a lot of them have the login. Okay. There's like a thousand in our giant sanctuary. He comes in the back of the church. I had to arrest that whore. Me a whore for him punching me in my private head. Okay guy in my church, what you did was consider rape you leave her alone and starts yelling about Dave and people mm -hmm. and him and I'm tearing up crying 
it was horrifying having all those people stare at me. Okay? Then I worked at Berry Cheese between July 23rd and September 1st of 19. And the attack is between July and September 1st of 19. There's a tape of it. Four women in the main room, two turn around. He said, if you wing him up again, he'll do it to you again. I was warned to stay quiet. I started to have to go to the bathroom more often and then shooting pains. And then I had to go on bladder spasm medicine. Because uh, the muscle where he kept punching it just sits there and twitches. And it makes me feel like I have to go to the bathroom all the time. And they make fun of me for it in stories. For trying to help any of them. These people are sick. They are Satan possessed. And insane. Okay? And they think they're funny. And it's all for the help. One of those three girls' daughters. Okay? Are those three women's daughters. The mean parents. One of them showed up at Macy's. Mark's Cleveland Avenue. Probably February to April of, night of this year. Where I started having swelling. It was probably March to April. Because I had went over to my old client's uh, girlfriend's home. And they needed some things. So I ran up to Mark's. And they're in there. And I have good and bad around me. Two girls were walking behind me. We know what they tried to say about her and it didn't work. <laughs> and then I see the mean parents. Honey, I don't want her to hurt over this. Oh, honey, it won't hurt. Bitch, it hurts to kill someone. I get shooting pains in my head from that fucking neural chip swelling. Okay? Hear them outside? I think they're funny. Okay? 1221 in the neck. Told you. There's a cut. The wires, the crack. Took responsibility on March 13th. 21. Altman Hospital to Alan Atinas. Intern. And in front of everyone. Or for Herrick Karen Swell. The agency chipped her out front. In front of people. Patients having a staff. Bitch looks me in the face. They didn't say one of the truth out of you. That's why they chipped you. Shut up. Learn to use Google. Okay. In the back, I tell the doctor I may have a chip. And he goes to leave and there's an agent standing there. Some damn bastard neuro chipped her. We already know. Okay. Now... We're going to go like th three or four days later at Mercy Medical. I go back in because it's still hurting really bad. They do a CT under dye. You can see they cut the wires in the crack. Hurt like hell when the dye hit the chip. I've had dye, uh, CAT scans with dye before and um, it doesn't hurt. It makes you feel like FP, but it doesn't hurt. But the lady at the hospital said, I bet it did hurt when it hit that chip. Okay. The hospital even told me if they take the chip and the swelling out, I could live at this point. Okay. Premeditated murder with an illegal war weapon. U.S. Supreme Court outlawed it. 18-10134, 2005. I already did this before and I'll do it again. Electronic brain links, neuro, uh, remote neuromonitoring. Our U.S. government recognizes electronic, synthetic electronic telepathic war weapons as an illegal strategy used by other governments for the truth. Okay. Mind controlling chips to silence whistleblowers used by perpetrators as a heinous crime of assault. It's against all basic human rights and all human dignity. Okay. Now there is, I have not, I talked to Will one time on the phone, okay, told him I was scared, I forgot to tell him that ass, uh, told uh, Paper the night before, he went and asked me to stay quiet, okay, because okay. that's the only, yeah, he already told, I was so upset from that guy threatening to knife me and giant eagle, I forgot, okay,
and one shame me in the other store and then another lady spit in my face at the gas station and her and her boyfriend's harassing me. It was horrifying. Okay? And then to realize the attempt at kidnapping, the uh, following rounding, all this has been planned out in the attempt at carjacking. Okay? It just went high tech because he met Michelle in the store. Okay, Memorial Day weekend 2019. For it's my daughter, husband dates. He met her in Ravenna at a store when she was having a stomach spell. It's for my daughter. They did all this for. Oh, they kill people. Mm hmm. They kill them. They publicly humiliate them. Mm hmm. Isn't that sweet? They do that for their baby girl. And now there's a colonel involved. They had mentioned a colonel several times. Is he doing pretty little Michelle too? Because she's such a whore. Mm hmm. And for who's Karen's rich boyfriend, but the state of Ohio protects her. Memorial Day weekend 2019. Walmart 62. Mm -hmm. And that's sweet. They kill people for their daughters up here. You better get down here for the murder spree doesn't stop. Because they're supposed to have killed that lady's husband. And they raped and tortured me trying to get her help. Uh, Mel Melissa, my ex-daughter-in-law, goes to that church. She's friends with Michelle. Uh, they have the kids come up with a big giggle, 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 mean game of pretend. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Flora ratted them out October 23rd, 2019. Of course, it never happened. Of course, it wasn't true. We made it up. It was a game of pretend. They already came and told me they found them lying. Okay? Uh, the only thing that's came out, 8 8 8 15. Did you know he fentanyled her and told her to say it before? You can hear him in the distance, the car and the chip picked him up. No, we just didn't know. They already knew they were lying, so they thought they'd get money out. Uh, eight, nine, apartment building for me, second apartment close to the fence. It's funny she figured it out. Dave Durder and told her, say, it's so funny. They were laughing at me loud enough for both car parking lots to hear. One guy with the back showed up, and they took him around the corner, and they, they actually did the right thing and told the truth. Yes, they did drug her before and tell her to say it. Now, they've talked to four, several people over there. They've said stuff. And then the lady on Fairlawn Street, middle apartment, little white lady, um, she screamed at him right for me, 25th, it's not funny. The church people broke in before, told her, drugged her and told her to say she's a weirdo lost her. That's not funny. Okay? And then May 25th, uh, the Wendy screw were talking about it in front of my old client, Jeff, and... Um, a bunch of people in town, they were calling them bastards. Okay? Those kids even looked over and said, we witnessed, they told us that they were lying too. Okay? October 5th, Huntington Blank, Cleveland Avenue. Okay? I don't want Melissa getting any money out of this. She twitches after what they do do. I do. I do twitch. You ever been tortured? You ever been nourished? Almost murder. I do twitch. I do twitch. That's all there is to it. I do torch. Okay? Um, that's okay. They knew they made everything up. They just didn't want anybody to help her. Tape and audio. Honey and Bank. Cleveland Avenue. Okay? I was at Mercy Medical on the 2nd into the 3rd overnight because my head was hurting again. Okay? Um... They, a lady outside of Mercy Medical under tape and audio was telling an officer she's an informant and uh, they're all lying on her. I'll make sure no one says anything to her. Told an officer that. I had to take my new client to the hospital there. The nurses were sitting in the back laughing. I walked by and they looked at me and went, boy, we know they drugged you before. They all do. Mm-hmm. 8.18, 4.42 p.m. this year of 21. Uh, shine. Right under tape and audio in front of people and staff. An agent was seeing them raping her with a stalker. She can have anything she wants. Nobody showed up yet. FedEx 8.27, 3.05 p.m. Go about 5, 10 minutes before in Belden. Two African-American agents were standing there. Agent said he raped her because she didn't call 911 on the gunshot night. Well, nobody showed up and my house was bugged and everybody would say stuff around me when they walked by. I was supposed to be protected custody from the FBI. 
Then two African-American agents showed up at Walmart, 62. African-American agents with dreadlocks. We stayed out of the gunshot night because Dave's girlfriend's prettier. And the guy running it didn't blame us. And then I find out it's her dad. It's supposed to be Judge Pete. Judge Timothy's wrapped up tight. So is that courthouse you need to tear it apart? Somebody does before they kill more and extort money out of more. Okay? All right, then there's an old white guy with gray hair and a mustache at Wood Forest mocking me too. We had backup. And they said none of this is funny. They're actually dead. The ones where Dave made a mistake in a big one. And up outside the house for a moment in time, if you went to the wrong house, you know. And how they murdered those men. And the Asian lady, October 5th, Macy's, Clone County. Leans in and said, I told these people to stop saying stuff to her. She's trying to get me help. I tried. And you know what? Someone needs to find out if something happened to her husband. They said both those men are dead and some man's claiming he's crippled. I can't fix this and it's not my fault. These idiots decided to let people die for a whore and are trying to kill me. An agent came up to me. Remember the truth. They'll try to implant lies. They'll try to steal everything you have in life. The agents are so corrupt. That they tried to steal a settlement. People got paid off up here. It became two teams. One for you. One for Dave. If you go to Walmart 62. Mm -hmm, you can see where the team split. Good agents in one aisle. And bad in another. It's horrifying. It's like a fucking circus down there. There's six stalkers chased off. Uh, Yeah. It, it's like a fucking circus. The bad agents harassing me in front of people. It's bad. And people participating for that Michelle. And then Michelle's mother showing up Memorial Day weekend. It's for my daughter they did all this for. Food counter while I'm paying for my cheesecake. It's for my daughter they did all this for. He met her in Ravenna at a store. And she was having a stomach spouse for my daughter they did all this for. And her family down here watching her doing this. And for who's Karen's rich boyfriend but the state of Ohio who protects her. So Michelle's mother is supposed to be just Pete's wife. Somebody needs, and there's a colonel involved, okay? And they keep mentioning him around me. Where do you get a legal war weapon? Army base or someone's lab in an attempt to murder me. The hospital said if you retract it out now and take it out, I bring it in the swelling, my brain will go back to normal. It's not funny killing me for a young blonde whore. Okay, now I can go through, I can dig through my notes and I'll have more people knowing that Melissa lied and I was drugged before. That whole apartment building. Some guy walked in the other day, he went, she's an informant, I found the case. I found, yeah, he said, it's amazing what she lived through. We all know she, they drugged her before, let's go inside so she can't hear. I'm thinking, stay outside, I like it here. And it is amazing. I almost got shot driving. I had six stalkers. I had that ass beating on me. People breaking in and sticking me with needles and putting an electric war weapon in my head. My God, it's like a double seven movie down here, a purge movie. And they're making, they sold the login for $25 a pop. The IRS needs to get them. None of this is funny. It's, yeah, some little kid in Canton yelled out, we all know that ass tried to kill her. And other people are like, we taped the whole case. And it's, I can go 50 miles around. Well, no, that chap needs to come out. All you have to do is come down here. Honestly, you need to just come down here and fix this. This isn't funny. They drive by my work. Some weird Eric, Steve, Kirk, Chris, or Mark. They call up places. They tell people. They tape me before. And I never even mentioned, met, met them. I never even met Will. He never even called back after the first time I talked to him. He called. I called the hotline. Took him two days to call me back. I had went fetal. I'm not going to lie. I, from people threatened to knife me and talk to me. I went fetal for two days. I'm not ashamed. Third day I got up. Uh, mowed the lawn. Talked to Sarah. I said, where she knew they were threatening me in the mall. And I said, if I talk to somebody, will you tell them what you know? 
And I didn't want to tell her the other scary part. She's like, yeah, I'll tell him. So she's getting married. I get her a card. I take it uh, down to the mall. And she had already left with Will Snuff. I didn't call him back yet. We go to uh, Apostolic Church of Harberton. Paul Pamer gets into his face. My God, I had an FBI agent. My office is right there. And I walk off. And he's screaming at me. In front of us, 75 to 100 people. I never had to stay quiet. The next day when I called Will back, I was like hysterically crying. I left a lot of crap out. Uh, but I'll tell you what, and he looks just like Judge Timothy, spitting him into about 40. Had to show him back. Not funny. Never had to stay quiet and find out they were taping me unaware. Oh, uh, yeah, I love the one. And I already talked to the prosecutor. I didn't do anything wrong either. Like they told the nurse that I did go to Mercy Medical also on the 13th. Uh, no man was ever to touch her. I could hear him talking outside. They, the nurse comes in laughing. The only thing they got you on is adjusting yourself. Right aid on the 4th of this year. And then expose yourself. You're good. I guess I wiped some water off with clothes on. And they try to make that dirty. And they try to get money out of it. Can you believe that? Think a baseball player's bathing suits. Uh, it, it, pulling, yeah, you pull out of your front, your butt, your crotch. You dry off everywhere. Baseball games, they grab and just their self in front of millions of people. Guys that just their self. It's not wrong to touch any part of your body with clothes on. It's not. It's adjusting yourself. You have to hold yourself like five minutes to not say you didn't have a catheter, you didn't have a surgery, you're not passing a kidney stone, you didn't hurt yourself. Not everything is sexual. And just wiping off water with clothes on is, isn't wrong. Okay? And it's not funny that idiot I was married to, him and his little blonde whore, that and all the drink and had me say something stupid and became friends with... My ex-daughter-in-law had a giggle, giggle, giggle behind my back. And they're running, like some guy said the other day, they're going to run around telling everybody they're lying. I want nothing to do. I'm not helping. You shouldn't have helped anyways. You turn it over the police, let the police look into it. They did. They found me innocent at 19. The Massillon police told Mount Carmel, Illinois, in May, it's a documented, people, that weird Eric that's stalking me that I haven't met yet, was calling people up down there on their phones around me. He called Altman Hospital on March 13th, too. And I walked out of the room to use the bathroom, and some nurse was participating in it, and I got her in trouble. Talking to him on a phone. I don't know who he is. He's stalking me like crazy. Him and that weird Steve. And Kirk, Chris, and Mark. I don't know these men. But they were claiming that they kidnapped me and drugged me for an occult. I woke up with black and blue marks. As a woman that's already been raped and tortured, did they rape me too? Because a lot of those roofie drugs are date rape drugs. Yeah, that's how not funny this is. They have publicly humiliated me across the United States. And this is our nation's disgrace of our legal system. We have the right to remain silent legal representation. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. You have the right to privacy also. And no coerced confession is admissible. When I talked to only my husband, ex-husband about it, he defended me called Melissa Childish. You're good to everyone. And I taped him, of course, trust no man. I taped him twice. And um, I got Dixie on knowing that it was a mean game of pretend. And then other people witnessing that Melissa was fine. And I have a um, picture of messengers back and forth from us. And we were your messenger friends and Facebook friends. Yeah, and that everybody was fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. If they're going to kill you, drugging and framing you is nothing. But yeah, like that old lady said, is that what's going on? No one's to say anything to her. Yeah, we just found out. They're just trying to scare her to death. Scare me, scare me out of everything. It's racketeering and extortion. You want to say you want to scare me to death? Mm-hmm. Attempt to murder. There's a lot of charges and a lot of top ten stupid, stupid people.
people outside my door. If you'll come help me, please.